Dead Amount. Good morning to you. 10.34, Borida, Tuesday the 13th of September. This is BBC Radio Wells. And the Queen, of course, had a very strong and deep Christian faith. So, how does your faith influence your life? Number to call this morning, 03700 100 110. Text the show 81012 and email jason at bbc.co.uk. Let's have a chat to Reverend John Edward Funnell, pastor at Nodava Church in Abrasachan. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, Jason. Borodan, good to have you this morning. How important is faith to people, especially at a difficult time like this? Um, I think faith is essentially what it means to be human, to look beyond self. And regardless of um, where your faith is focused, everyone has it, even the atheists. Um, They have to believe in something to get through. What is life? And the Queen's faith gave her perspective, of course. And one of the lovely lines that I read this morning was this. The Queen's Christian beliefs were very deeply held, providing a scaffold to her life. What a wonderful phrase. Yes, um, I believe her faith made her the wonderful sovereign that she indeed was. I think the mistake that some people make is seeing faith as a crutch, um, something to run to um, during times of need or distress or sadness, which of course it can be, but it is also very much a strength. And our Queen was the leader that she was because of her faith. Um, You know, the story, which I of course believe to be true, of the God who came low to raise the weakest of us up is uh, one that speaks truth to power and keeps us humble. And I think that was one of the many wonderful qualities our Queen shared because of her faith in Jesus. And of course, faith tributes have been paid to the Queen from all corners of the world. And we live in divisive times. There can be Mm -hmm. no doubt but yet she had an appreciation of all faiths and understood her role in making that appreciation and making sure that the communities heard that appreciation. Yes, well, we worship the living God who is three in one. Um, He celebrates diversity in unity. And one of the core uh, teachings of Jesus is to love those that disagree with you. He says it's easy to love people who love you, Try loving your enemies. Um, That is uh, a divine love. And, um, you know, we, we of course, uh, love those that might have different views. Uh, We think that's a better way. It's the Jesus way. And uh, what about at your church? Have people been going to the church to pray? Have you got a book of condolence? And do you feel in times like this, communities will pull together? Yes, of course. Um, we live in a wonderful community. Abbasuchan is a beautiful valley with a great community spirit. Uh, we're a young and vibrant church. We've uh, grown significantly over the years. Uh, we welcome about 150 every Sunday morning. The average age is about 35. Uh, biggest growth area is with men under 40, which is quite unique. Um, we had eight Uh, believer baptisms on Sunday, which we were thinking of postponing um, in light of of the news of the Queen's passing. But then we we prayed about it and we thought she would hate for us to postpone such a thing. Um, So we began the service uh, with remembrance and thanksgiving for for Her Majesty the Queen. And then we uh, carried on uh, rejoicing in what God has been doing at our little church in our little valley. Nice to talk to you, John. Thank you so much, Reverend John Edward Funnell, pastor at Nodva Church in Abrasachan. So the phone lines are open if you do want to give us a call, 03700 100 110. Text the show 81012 and emails please to jason at bbc.co.uk. Good to talk to you. Thank you, John. 